The domino effect continues. Just 15 days after winning the World Cup, Spain's women's team coach, Jorge Vilda, has been sacked. Vilda had supported his colleague when Football Federation President Luis Rubiales refused to step down after kissing Spanish player Jenny Hermoso. She said the kiss was not consensual. Yet it's Vilda getting sacked because Rubiales is an elected official while Vilda is not. Jorge Vilda, we can call that he was the weakest link in the Rubiales entourage. And as uh, right now, he had no players to, to call for the Nations League because all of that woman resigned. 11 of uh, his staff have resigned as well. That so was uh, the logical thing to do. Vilda had been under fire even before the World Cup when 15 players went on strike because of his coaching methods. It should have been done earlier when there were already complaints and I think there is still a lot of change to be done in the Federation. They know better what happened, but come on, they won the World Cup, so I guess he did well as a coach. Spain's Football Federation has released this video presenting the team's first female coach in an attempt to reduce fallout from Rubiales' career-ending kiss. Monse Tomé was Vilda's deputy since 2018. In this context of the conflict with, with uh, Rubiales and also with Vilda, uh, it's, a good, it's a good sign that, that uh, a woman has been appointed as the manager of the national team. I think, I think it sends the, the right kind of message. The Spanish Football Federation has issued an apology for the, quote, immense damage that was done by the kissing scandal. The appointment of a female coach could be the start of a new era in the Spanish game. Dmitry Medvedenko, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.